When you walk past the deli section, you look at those chickens and you see that rotisserie and you're going, my word, I would do anything to have one of those. Well, in this video, I'm going to get to show you how you're able to do that. Take thyme, garlic, rosemary, add it into extra virgin olive oil, mix it around and let it infuse for about 20 minutes before putting it onto the chicken. Take some twine, wrap it around the one leg and then wrap it around the other leg. Use a knot, whatever knot, it doesn't make a difference and make sure that the legs are completely secure, that you don't have anything wobbling around. Then you take your marinade that you had made a little bit earlier and you start rubbing it around the bird. Make sure that you rub the bird the right way because you never want to rub a bird the wrong way. Only kidding. It's just a whole lot easier if you do this in the bowl because it's just more contained. Place the rod through the middle of the chicken, secure the chicken through the prongs on the one end and then do the same on the other and just make sure that the chicken is completely secure because this is your only time that you have to get it perfect. What I found to be, um, it's just easier to spice it up while it's in the dish. This is just a regular chicken rub. You can use whatever you want to use. There's no specific what you have to use or don't have to use. The one that is being used today is the Jack Daniels chicken rub. We are all ready to get onto the grill. How beautiful does this bird look? Holy moly, this is amazing. This is beautiful. We've taken the chicken off the rotisserie. We wrapped it into butcher's paper. You need to keep it wrapped for about five minutes or if you don't have butcher's paper, use foil. Um, that works completely fine. It's just to uh, trap the, the heat. Um, so it just steams. Um, therefore, it just gets the, uh, the chicken to uh, just become even a little bit more tender um, from all the, the cooking time. To make sure that your chicken is cooked, use a thermometer and make sure that the internal temperature of the chicken is more than 165 degrees. Anything less than 165 degrees Fahrenheit, the chicken is raw. So just, we use a digital thermometer, use a digital thermometer, they're super easy, they're convenient and you are guaranteed to have picture perfect food all the time. Wow, that looks amazing, absolutely beautiful. Look at the skin, amazing. As a rotisserie chicken goes, it has the flavors. It, it just reminds you of a awesome rotisserie if you are ever looking at doing something different or trying to do a rotisserie, you 
guys need to give this thing a go. This is amazing. Everything. The, the, the garlic, the rosemary, the thyme, the olive oil, the spices, the, the fat from the chicken that rolled off and got that crispiness. It is just amazing and just, wow. Super, super soft. Let's see, how beautiful does that look? Just spectacular. It looks amazing, it smells amazing, and what's even better, it even tastes amazing. If you want something special out of a chicken, this is what you guys need to try. And with that, catch you guys on the next one.